this video is how to convert the S10 system from manual to pneumatic. Check the instructions that come with the conversion components and also the instructions in the back of the system. This is how to remove the flush valve. After folding the front plate down you will find on the back of it there are two components secured there. These are spare parts, washers for the flush valve and the inlet valve. Remove the grey plate and set aside. Do not throw this away, keep the spare parts. Remove the rocker assembly, release via the clips at the back and then it tilts up to remove the top tags of the assembly. Next, you remove the rocker assembly subframe and be sure to release the blue clip as shown. The rocker assembly releases via the front clips as per shown. Lift it up and away from the system. Carefully study the instructions printed on the inside of the system to remove the flush valve safely and carefully. At the point to note here is that you are able to carry out this in a conversion kit swap without removing the flush valve completely from the system. However, I recommend to do this in the way that we're showing you if it's the first time you've done this with the flush valve outside the system tank. As per the instructions, turn the overflow pipe anti-clockwise until you hear a click. Pull the overflow pipe up and out. You will hear another click as it releases from the housing it sits in. Next, release the flush valve retaining clip as shown. These components are made of plastic and designed to be relatively flexible to aid in the removing, but please be careful when carrying this process out. Lay the components out in a clean work environment and inspect before the assembly of the original components and reassembly of the new ones. You'll end up with more components than you need, but please do not discard these. Give them to the owner to keep in a safe place for servicing in the future, or if you want to convert the system back to a mechanical operation. Remove the actuator arms attached to both the blue float arm and the overflow pipe. Install the new components, which are the actuator rods for the air bellows. Ensure they are fitted snug and correctly, testing to make sure they do not release themselves. The fitment of these components must be correct to avoid the flush valve from jamming when in the system. Double check these components are fitting correctly. To install the flush valve, bottom of the flush valve goes in first horizontally to the left, swings down then the rest of the components follow thereafter. Be careful at this point there are a lot of components to go back in the system, take your time and make sure nothing gets caught. Secure the flush valve with the blue clip as shown. Push the overflow pipe down firmly and turn clockwise so you hear a click to lock the overflow mechanism in place. Replace the rocker assembly subframe as shown. Remember to secure the blue clip on the right hand side. These are the valve actuator bellows. Note the orientation of this component. Blue to the right, white to the left. Tilt the unit on its side and install by inserting around the back of the components just fitted on the top of the valve. Take your time and make sure all the components are free to move. Secure the bellows assembly with the clips either side of the subframe as shown. Check the new flush panel and install both hoses on the back of the flush panel pistons and on the base of the bellows. Note the clear hose and the blue hose go on the white and blue bellows respectively. Test the flush valve action via pushing the buttons, making sure everything works as it should. The system is now ready for fit off. Any questions please call us here at Plumline 0800 499 411.